These are scenes of grief and anger for the mass funeral of some of the people who were killed in an airstrike south of the contested Libyan city of Zlitan Monday night. We have a number of coffins that are gathered here, people chanting, denouncing NATO, blaming it for the airstrike. We were brought by the government of Tripoli to the scene of the attack, at least three or four houses that had been demolished by some kind of missiles from the sky, and there next to the wreckage, some of which was still smoking, the representative, the spokesman for Gaddafi's government, called this the scene of a massacre. 85 Libyan civilians, including 33 child children, 20 men, 32 women, and we are still counting, were massacred last night in an intensive air raid by NATO on the town of Majer. We were later taken to a hospital where we saw at least one woman who had lost a leg as a result of the airstrike. We were also shown a morgue where there were the bodies of at least 25 people. Many of them appeared to be men. There were some women and children included among those corpses. Now, we've contacted NATO, and NATO spokesmen have responded to the allegations of civilian casualties, saying, quote, former farm buildings were being used as a staging point for pro Gaddafi forces to coordinate attacks against the people of Libya. We do not have evidence of civilian casualties. Military casualties, including mercenaries, are likely to have been the nature of the target. The Gaddafi officials on the ground, many of the survivors of this incident, are insisting there were no military personnel present at those five houses that were hit. Impossible for us from this perspective to confirm whether or not 85 people were in fact killed, but it does appear that it's at least some women and children were among those hurt in this deadly strike. Ivan Watson, CNN, Zlitan, Libya.